What is going on guys? We are back playing some more Minecraft on Abridged and today we're going to start off the episode a little different than usual because we're actually going to be doing some building. And the reason I say that building is weird for me is because I am horrible at it, so I don't do it on camera. It is laughable how bad my builds are, so I usually just live underground in a little hole. But I've been inspired by some guys on the server like Dizzy, whose house is over there that we looked at last episode, and Wells Knight who made an awesome starter house, not in this area, but you can see it in his first video. And I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make my own house too, and it's going to be above ground for once, and people are going to love it. So I went into creative in a single player world last night and spent like two hours making this house and tweaking it and changing blocks and all that good stuff so that it would be perfect. Then I came on here and spent a lot of time cutting down trees and getting cobblestone and all that, so I have all the stuff that I need to make this. I didn't count it out, but I think we have an excessive amount of wood, and it's not that big of a house, but it's going to take a decent amount of resources. So what we are going to do is actually make it into a montage. So I have this plot right here that I flattened out. Our old house was over there, chopped that down, but that's not enough space over there, and it's kind of on a hill, so I thought I'd make it here. But what I'm going to do is just kind of turn me making the house into a montage, because it's probably going to take me 30 plus minutes. I have to refer back to pictures on my phone of the house, all that good stuff. So anytime that I have to pause or anything, I can just cut it. So I hope you guys enjoy the montage to some sweet music, and I will talk to you guys when it is done. Okay guys, so we are back and I have finally finished. Uh, it's a little big for this area, but I really like the way it looks. And all we gotta do now is put a sign, but there really is no good spot for a sign. So I guess we can just kind of put one over over here. So we'll just do Dr. Rage Hards. And I thought it kind of looked like an inn. So we'll just do Dr. Rage Hards Inn. There we go. So no sexy shack, just an inn. But it's a little bland, like I said. I want to get some vines, some leaves around it, and I want to have a block of glowstone hanging up there. So if we go inside, it is not very spacious on the ground floor. Not very spacious at all. You could probably have some chests, maybe some machines down here, but not much. If we go upstairs, though, it is very spacious for a house that is. It's not a factory. Uh, lofted ceiling. I really like the way it looks. I haven't decided if I 
whoops. I haven't decided if I actually want to have the stairs on the inside because it's actually completely unnecessary. So I might put stairs there. I might get rid of the rest. I don't really know. But up here will be where the bulk of our machines are going to go. And like I said, this is just a starter base. So I like the way it looks. I'll keep it here and spawn forever because it looks good. But eventually we will move out of here. So it doesn't really matter that it's not super huge. So now I did say that we would start the modded Minecraft portion of this and essentially what that means is we need to get power because obviously you really can't do much without power and everyone has windmills if you look around there's all these different types of windmills you got the mechanism windmills you got that windmill and I think I want to get away from windmills for the day so I want to do what non sanity did and he used he's also using windmills but one cool thing that I think he did is he is using this water turbine right here that's actually three of them in a row and he connects the power using this low voltage cable so I think that's really cool so what I want to do is have one of these over by our house and then we can use one of those low voltage cables to actually get it into our house and I was thinking that it would be really cool to make kinda of like a pond area somewhere up here so maybe maybe like I don't even know because there's no real flat area but maybe like have a little pond right here and then it spills water down over here and then we put the turbine like we cut a harsh wall right here and then we put the water turbine there and make another little pond down behind there and then it'll be right behind our house and we'll be good to go so that is the plan and what I think we're gonna do is craft the turbine first and non sanity did make I think it's still the coke oven that makes creosote but I grabbed some bottles of creosote and we need to get some copper so we have copper in here right here and we need to make it into ingots I only have bronze right now so what we can do is go over to the tinkers smeltery which was expanded even more look at how tall this thing is now I don't know why you'd ever need to use all of this but let's just make sure that there's none in here right now nope there is definitely enough lava and we can honestly just click the entire thing in there and it doesn't even fill up a fraction of that thing it's so crazy uh, I don't know why they would ever make it that tall but they did so that's a thing now we can come back here and actually start carving out where we want the water to flow I don't know if the height it's dropped from is important or it's just important that water passes over it but I did say that we would make it right here so I hope no one intends on living here because that would be kind of bad if someone wanted to expand their house over here but I guess we can make cow tipper oh man must have killed a cow so we can make the pond kind of right here and it doesn't need to be huge I just need somewhere for the water to start because I don't really want it to randomly start these block sounds seem really high let's, uh, let's turn the blocks down it sounded really loud last time okay so the pond can be like this Ooh, you begin to feel comfortable handling the bronze shovel. You notice room for improvements, plus one modifier. So I guess we leveled this guy up. I, yeah, I guess we did. So skill level comfortable. We still haven't leveled the pickup. It's pretty close, but we have not leveled it up. Interesting. Oh, the pick has two different things. So the pick has mining level that will get increased and skill level, whereas this only has skill because it's pretty much able to be used on anything that a shovel will be used for interesting okay so now the way that we want this to flow would probably I'm really bad at making ponds flow in the right direction so I'm trying to think of how I want this to flow it could flow out of here come down like this and we'll have it we can have it branch out a little bit there so it's not just going down as two by two each time and then bring it out over here let's get some dirt so we can kind of reshape how this is going to flow so it'll flow down like that down there come through here we can open that up a little bit and then we want it to fall down a relatively flat face so we should put that there and can we actually put this here and this here so we'll have like a little, little pool down there so it'll flow through here over this trying to direct it out down here so it can pop out right here and let's put that there so it should 
I want to make three eventually because I think that looks good. So eventually it'll fall down here and we can kind of clear this area out. Whoa, that was weird. So we can clear this area out and I guess we want, where does it start falling again? So I guess the three will be one, two, three. So right here, we're going to want this to be a little bit higher and we're actually going to have to clear out inside here. I don't know how tall it is, is the thing. I think it takes up three or four blocks. I'm not sure. So we're going to have to clear out at least this area right here and the one above it. And then I don't know how far back it goes either, but I guess the power doesn't really matter. We can clear out a little bit of an area over here because there does need to be a, I believe it's a kinetic engine. I don't know if it's kinetic generator or kinetic engine, but we'll have an area for that over here along with what will collect the power. And then the water can finish falling right here and continue on its way. And I'll just let it flow down like this. And we'll stop it right here for now. I don't even know if the flow is going to work correctly because I'm really bad when it comes to having water flow down like a path because it always turns out looking like crap. So we will have to see, but I need to make some more buckets because I there is one over here, but I don't think one is enough because I don't want to have to run back and forth to make an infinite pool. Oh, we actually, we have two. Okay, good, good. Yes, yes. So once we know this flows correctly, we can start making this. The copper should be done come up here and start making this pool. Let's get out of the way. So it starts flowing down already. We'll be able to see how poorly it flows. What? Okay, there we go. So it actually doesn't flow too poorly. It, it doesn't flow down this one yet because there's nothing on this side, but if we were to put this over here, I think it should. Yep, so it'll start flowing down that side and it doesn't fill it out right there just yet, but I can force it to, I think. I think I know how water works. So we need to put this right here, make it an infinite pool so we can grab more. And then we just gotta fill in the rest up here so it looks like it's actually a pond. So there we go. Now it's flowing down, and we should fill these up just in case we need to use them again. And right here is where I want it to flow to the side more. So I think if we just block it off, it should flow and then it should keep that flow. So if we were to undo that, yeah, so it keeps the flow. Very nice. I actually think that looks pretty good. So the grass will grow back here and then we want it to fill out this area and we want it to fill out there too. Okay, so now the flow should flow all the way down. The grass should grow back here and it then falls down. The water will be going over it right here. Just needs to clip the edge and then it can create a pond down here eventually. So that's nice. It'll look better once the grass grows, but we actually need to get crafting now. So we gotta go get our copper and I think it only takes copper and some iron, so we should be okay. So if you look in here, you can see that is barely, that's 48 ingots, that's barely being used. So we can start filling these up both of these. I'll get the blocks because it's fastest. I don't know why no one's made redstone clocks for these yet. Maybe there aren't redstone clocks in here. Let's let's check. Not seeing it. Redstone. Okay, so there are redstone clocks, and those are really good for this. I may make those eventually once I actually go mining for the first time, but essentially what they do is they would just, you know, if you flip a lever, they would have this constantly being triggered by a redstone signal that's like going like ticking repeatedly uh, which is really nice because you can just kind of afk and let it make ingots uh, or blocks if you have a hopper below it so i think how many more do we have we didn't put that many in there wow okay so once we get this block we'll call it a day because we need a good amount of copper but we don't not worried about like five ingots and I don't think we'll be able to make three, but we'll be able to make a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A tiny bit. And then if we go into this chest, I don't... I think we actually might need some gold or something. So I'll have to check for the actual engine part that like generates the power. But I'm only worried about making the spinning parts right now. So if we go to water turbine, 
Oh, it doesn't even come up. Oh, it's water mill. Why did I say turbine? So we just go here, we can see it down here. Water wheel, okay. So this is a part of immersive engineering, which is really, really cool stuff. And we'll get into more of that later, but we need water wheel segments. We need four of these per water wheel. And each one requires some of this treated wood. So we just need to make a bunch of treated wood, which is why it's good that we actually have an absurd amount of wood from mining, or from uh, chopping down trees earlier. And this is where the creosote comes in, actually. Where'd I put the, where'd I put the creosote? What'd I do with it? Is it like in my inventory and I'm just missing it? Oh no, yeah, it's in my inventory. Gosh, I thought, I think it was a different color before. So I'm getting screwed up with the fact that it's, it looks darker now. So we'll just make another stack of wood because we want as much of this treated wood as we can get and use that. Okay, so we are running out of inventory space. We can get rid of all of this cobble and dirt and stuff because we're not going to need that anytime soon. So this should be enough treated wood for now. There's no reason to make an excessive amount because like I said we need a lot, but we definitely don't need too, too much. So I want to make a good amount of sticks because we do need some sticks. And then if we come over here and look right here, we can make eight with what we have with sticks, which is good because if we want to make two of the water wheels, it is going to take that. So we should actually make a little bit more since we want to make three water wheels. Oh, we're a little short. We need four more sticks. There we go. So two water wheels, and then we need the last. No, what? What happened to it? There we go. So we need the last portion. I forgot to shift click. I'm bad at this game. Okay, so now we can finish making the water wheel. And now we have three, so awesome. Didn't even need all that treated wood. And now we need to get the kinetic, is it kinetic, di kinetic dynamo. Okay, so this does not require gold, but it does require redstone, which I do not have at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'll craft all this and then I will jump off, get some redstone, and we can finish this up for the episode. So to make this, you need a copper wire coil, which just requires copper wire, which requires, I believe, a stick in the center. I think you can use a stick. So you can do that. And we need to turn this copper into ingots. There we go. Let's just make sure this works. Yes, it does. So we need two of these because we're going to need eight. Oh my gosh, I can't click. So there we go, two of those, and that should all go around some iron, which I do not have in my inventory. It is over here. Okay, so all of this around iron. So the last piece of the puzzle is getting some redstone. So I'm gonna go get some redstone, and then I will jump back, guys. Okay, guys, so we're back, and I got the redstone. It was actually really disappointing because I got less redstone than I found diamonds. I found two pockets of diamonds before I found redstone, and I cannot mine them. So that's horrible, but eventually I will be able to. My pickaxe did level up. The skill level though, not the mining level, unfortunately. But we now have our three water wheels and kinetic dynamo. So it is time to go place them down. I am really hoping that we set this up right or else I'm gonna need to clear out another level. I guess it wouldn't be too bad because I do have a dirt level above it to mine. But we gotta fight the current and this would be going right here, I think. Think. Okay, so the water wheel does not want to get put on that. I guess we should do a test. So we should come back out here and grab some dirt from our inventory. Come over here and see how high it needs to be from the ground and the height that it needs. So it needs to be two from the ground. Is that two from the ceiling also? Wow, I think it is. So this counts as two blocks and then it can cut to the ceiling. So it needs too wide gap on both. That is crazy. Okay, so let's get rid of that. Get rid of this. They look a lot bigger up close than they do from far away. So now we got to get back under here. And we can clear out this one level above it. If we go up one more though, it's going to cut into the water stream itself. So we got to go down one, which actually isn't too bad. So we can mine down one, and it doesn't need to get cleared out over here. Ugh, get out of the current, get out of the current. Okay, so this can go right here, and now this, 
Oh, it's going to need a two wide gap in the back too. I forgot because the radius would be two blocks. So once we clear this out, we can clear this out too, just to be safe. Now it should work. There we go, and it is spinning. It is spinning like a champion. So, oh, you know what, are these are these screwed up? No, okay, they do align. I was gonna say, if they're not aligned, that's gonna bother me so much. So I wanna cut in over here so that I can actually get out when I place this last one down. And we can throw it right here. And we got the last one down, awesome. So now we can fill this back in, cover this up, and from out here, we have a nice water wheel. We can actually, if we want to see it better, we can clear out this area a little bit. Whoa. Okay. So we can clear out this area a little bit, and I'll make it look nicer later, but I really want to be able to see this thing like in action, so I might clear out the sides even more. But that'll start generating power, and it does not have an internal buffer as far as I'm aware, so I'm going to need to hook up like a power cell to that or something, or an energy cell, so that it can start gaining power. And then from that energy cell, we can start hooking up those low voltage cables and wiring it back to our base. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, feel free to give it a like. I would love to hear your opinion on my building, and you know if there's any improvements you guys think I could make, or you know whatever you want to tell me about the building. Any feedback is appreciated. So, you know, talk to you guys later.